God damn, I can shoot the dinosaur. You need to medicate that animal if you want to save it. What's up, heathens? Today we're playing Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, you know, I'm not... I've never really been all that into, like, the Sim Cities and whatnot, although I've played them and had some fun with it. I've seen some gameplay of this, and it seemed fun, so I thought that I might play it and maybe put up a video. So, um, yeah, we're playing this today, and we'll see how it goes. New game. Hello, and may I say welcome? Hello. Oh, and I shit. say welcome. My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. <laughs> Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> Construct a Hammond creation lab. Hammond creation lab. Bring dinosaurs, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's 400,000. Okay. Sure, that looks like a good spot. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Okay, so this is kind of a weird way on PC to actually control this shit, because... You gotta use Wise to, to like actually move the map around like up, down, left, right. And then you can use Q and E to rotate. Alright, so we need to construct a path. Constructing paths all over this place. Let's do a really simple path. A path cost a thousand dollars? The fuck? Now comes the real test. Incubating a dinosaur. Oh. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Okay, can we splice it with like a rattlesnake so that we have something truly terrifying? Hatching bay. Incubate a dinosaur. We have a Struthiomimus. Incubate for $30,000. The genome process is 65%. It's a non-hybrid genome. Sure. Incubate Imaginations the of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes. The, the last time. There's always a last time. And a next. Release said dinosaur! Ooh, it came out with a vengeance. Life, it begins. The most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them so well done i guess ian it's eating dirt how smart is this fucker let's 
So it looks like we can. Grab the Hammond it. Foundation has three main areas of interest: security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. All right, so we've got science division, entertainment, and security. Well, security should be paramount in a uh, venture like this, but something tells me that science is the way that we want to go. I think I'm going to go with the science because I'm an atheist and science is all we care about. Ah, Dr. Dua, this is our new director of operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Let's see. Build, connect, and power an expedition center. Construct, power, and connect an expedition center to your park's uh, path network. Then expedition center will allow you to send out dig teams across the world in search of dinosaur fossils. The first step towards acquiring dino DNA. Cash reward, $250,000. Fuck yeah, let's accept that shit. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Uh, X, rotate right, uh, Z, rotate left. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's nice. I mean, you don't, you don't want to, like, I don't know, have, like, a really weird catty corner fucking building. Let's see, let's actually rotate our camera around. Um, sure, that looks good. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention. And if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Well, they shouldn't take work personally. I gotta manage a whole fucking island. Get over your fucking selves. I mean, am I right? People I know think I'm money right. makes the world me. go around, <laughs> but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase, meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. Control room. What do we got here? World expedition map. So we've got a few that we can go to. Oh, transmission. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life, pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us and to me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, acquire 50% genome of the Triceratops. The expedition center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. I will not disappoint. Okay, so this place, the commonly found specimens are Triceratops. It's the only one, so we Good! Are doing Your first that one. expedition team is out. They'll bring back find what they shit. find to the fossil center for extraction. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. The fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! All right, so yes, extract that DNA. Give us, give us a little bit. What do we got? Give, give us some percentage of the genome. A little bit more. One percent more. We need to get 50 percent. We're at 44. Come on, two. I wonder what this silver one is. 48. Okay, so we got 48, and we need to extract that one. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous, and I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. I wonder if the dinosaur is ever going to come out with, like, three heads or something instead of, like, three horns. 
Like, that would be fucking crazy. <laughs> Ooh, I can extract this DNA. I'll just go ahead and work on extracting all this DNA and shit. Extract that DNA. We got 70% of the DNA for strut... Strut... Themus... Strut... The strut dinosaur. He's got a strut. I wonder what it means to extract DNA from these fossils. Because the fossils aren't going to have DNA in them. I'm guessing that they're talking about, like, maybe the collagen or whatnot that we've been able to find in the bones. Because not all, like, originally they did amber, but now they're using actual fossils in this game. So I don't know. They, they must be rationalizing it with the thing. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, okay. theirs, and mine. Welcome to the island. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Uh, we need, I, need, I need to finish extracting this DNA, though. we got to get all of our fossils out of there so that we can send more people off to find more fossils so that we can revive more dinosaurs so we can keep them locked up in cages and shit. You know, humane things. This is a Ceratosaurus, which looks an awful lot like a T-Rex, but it, I know that it's not. It, I think it's kind of the same basic idea. All right, we got all of those taken care of. So let's get incubate and release for Triceratops. Uh, incubate, in, incubate. <laughs> Ooh, I can modify the genome. Can I give it like three dicks? Casey said no. Damn it, guys! I can't. I can't have a dinosaur with three dicks. <laughs> Release dinosaur. Your presence known, girl. Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. Construct a herb of our feeder. Landscaping. Ah, herbivore feeder. So let's... I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. So we got herbivore feeders, which this guy looks like he's hungry. Oh yeah, he's eating it up. You get it, boy. Girl. Because they're all girls. You get it, girl. Like us, different dinosaurs require different diets. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder in an enclosure. I'm a red meat man myself. <laughs> See, uh, feeders dispense food every few minutes. Large dinosaurs eat more food than small ones. Sharing a feeder among too many dinosaurs may result in starving dinosaurs. You know, construct an operational ranger station, incubate and release triceratops with a research item from Pew Hookworm Parasite. You expedition map. I think we can send out. Good job, guys. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Do research. We gotta research. Genetic research, medical treatment. Is it medical treatment? Ranger station. 
Turn that son of a bitch around. Boom. Ranger station. Went the long way around because I'm a dipshit. See how our power's doing. Unused power. Hey, oh, looks like we got our expedition team coming back in. We got ourselves some new fossils, boys. Go to those fossils, bitches. See, so we got that. We need to get our Triceratops up to 70%, uh, which means we're going to have to go out on a few more expeditions. Word is that a new contract is available. I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. Power is something we simply cannot ignore when it comes to our operations. Without power, we, uh, well, we, we don't have any power. Complete. Oh, shit. Really great job on that contract. No matter what anyone else says, science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes both. But on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good. And that's worth a reward. We gotta start bringing in more money. Uh, that's gonna be entertainment, I think. We definitely need to do the whole security thing. I think this is gonna be our biggest get yet because this is an actual mosquito in amber. And boy, does that house a lot of DNA. I mean, the only way we could get more DNA is if a dinosaur came into some amber or tree sap, whatever. Amphibian fossils, no DNA present. Ooh, I can sell it for 120,000. And I can sell that rhodium shit for 80,000. We're staying above the million mark, people. Success brings a new set of risks, but there is. Increase your dinosaur rating to 1 0 stars. Let's see, can we. Incubate, incubate, what do we got here? Ooh, 72%, we can definitely do that one. Uh, incubate. Okay, so it's gonna take a little bit to get that researched. It's been $300,000, so that's gonna put me under a bit on that one. And we've gotta get... Contracted, what? Oh my gosh, you got a sick dinosaur on your hands. It's time to treat it. Or what comes next? That's gonna be on your hands as well. Let's get it done, son. Watch out, bitches! <laughs> God damn, I can shoot the dinosaur. You need to medicate that animal if you want to save it. Negative contact. Uh. Hit. Badoom. Cured. You're welcome. I 
I disagree. I am doing fabulous. I'm almost hitting scientists, but I'm not. Job well done, guys. Taking back control. Mission complete. Prehistoric life. Ooh, we got a million dollars for that. We are on the path to a pure strain dinosaur. This will definitely shift the paradigm. I can't ignore this accomplishment. Oh, with your help, obviously. That goes without saying. But under my direction. I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. I've witnessed Dr. Dua flail and fail before. Now with you, she believes she is on her way. Does she really think she can accomplish what I have not? Ooh, somebody is a bit jealous. I have to say Henry Wu Fu over there uh, Henry Kung Fu over there <laughs> <laughs>